Hey, did you hear Team Sam topped to YCS? I heard. Good for him. That takes a lot of work. How come you don't go to more tournaments? Because I'd win too much? Yeah, I sure you would. Hey, congrats on winning YCS Memphis. Why does my mouth taste like pennies? Because I changed the timeline to where I won YCS Memphis. What? Shell. Oh, I remember now, but you couldn't win without cheating. Um, yeah, I could, and so could you. Nuh-uh, topping a YCS was easy. Anyone could do it. Anyone can do it. You know, usually I end up agreeing with you, but on this one, you're just wrong, okay? Because the meta decks are too strong. There's too many good players out there. It's absolutely hopeless for you to do this Thanks for doing this video for me, old buddy. Time. <laughs> No, I could do my video uninterrupted, and now he's gonna think I can actually control time. <laughs> you guys in today's episode we're gonna be doing a different kind of discussion on YCS Memphis but before we get into that I have to give a shout out to all of you guys thank you all so much for 50,000 subscribers it's it's absolutely amazing I don't know what to say or how to repay you guys like at all for I, I just don't know like I accept to keep making videos I guess uh, speaking of making videos go ahead and leave comments down below for whatever you want me to do for a, the 50k sub special and uh, the top comments will get made into a video or something like that that. Or if you guys can't decide, I will pick something and decide for you, or maybe think of something and decide for you. I don't know. But yeah, top comments, guys. Top comments down below, and we will do a 50k sub special. We'll do something huge. I mean, we gotta do something huge. The funnest channel in Yu-Gi-Oh! just got halfway to a hundred thousand subscribers. That is crazy, guys. I don't know what to say. Like, it's been it's been building for a while. This didn't happen overnight. Did not happen overnight. I can tell you that right now. But with that last thank you out of the way, I have to give a special shout out to my patrons, especially. You guys are just absolutely crazy. You guys support me that extra amount and you keep the funnest channel in Yu-Gi-Oh going. Thank you guys all so much for your love and support. And the other shout out as always is to our sponsor metamats.com made by us, designed by you. Like I said a minute ago, I don't know how to pay you guys back, but I can get you guys 10% off of mats. So if you guys want a 10% discount on any mat from metamats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus and you will get 10% off of any mats. I don't know what else to say, what else to do, except let's go ahead and get into this discussion and then open up some fan mail. All right, you guys, I'm going to start this discussion off by saying that I don't want to top a YCS just like you guys don't want to top a YCS. And you guys are going to be thinking right now, wait, wait a minute, I want to top a YCS. Don't you mean that you don't want to top a YCS? No, I want to top a YCS too, but I don't want to top a YCS. You see guys, there's a difference between wanting something and wanting something. For example, I can sit here and say that I'm hungry and I want a sandwich, but I'm not hungry enough to go make that sandwich right now. If I was hungry enough for that sandwich, I would just go make that sandwich. I would go eat. So top of YCS, you have to be hungry for it, guys. You have to want it that badly to go get up and actually do something about it. If you wanted to top a YCS, guys, you wouldn't be watching this video right now of me talking about this most recent YCS. No, 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 no. You would be planning your, your trip to the next one. You would be, if you wanted to top any Yu-Gi-Oh event for that, that matter you would be planning your trip to the next region or something like that and you would be studying and practicing instead of watching YouTube videos right now but you guys don't want to top a YCS just like I don't want to because if I wanted to top a YCS I wouldn't be recording this video right now I wouldn't be talking to you guys I would be studying and doing those things as well so in other words guys anyone can top a YCS yes anyone can top a YCS because if you spend enough time practicing and you if you study the metagame, not just your own deck and practice your own deck, but if you practice every other deck out there, for example, if you are a Pendulum player, it would be very wise to pick up a true Draco deck, practice the crap out of that deck, and know exactly how to beat it. Same thing with Trick Stars, Invoked, the new uh, Lair of Darkness deck, everything, guys. You have to study everything and learn how to beat it to top a YCS. And that's going to be what's going to, uh, I guess, begin the discussion here. Um, anyone can top a YCS. You, me, anybody. If you work hard enough at something, you can accomplish that. Just like anybody can do what I'm doing right now and be a Yugi tuber. If you want to be a Yugi tuber, then start a channel, work hard at it, and become a Yugi tuber. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it doesn't happen just overnight. I mean, I've literally been making videos, like just using myself as an example right now, guys. I've been making videos for years, and I just passed 50,000 subscribers. 
years, guys. This did not happen overnight. That is literally the exact opposite of having something happen overnight. You don't have just everything handed to you. I mean, that's what people don't really understand about YCS tops. It's like, oh, this deck won. And when I do my discussions and stuff, I may talk about, you know, one deck being better, but I'm not going into detail about the pilots themselves. What you guys have to understand is behind every single top deck profile, every single top 32 deck profile at a YCS, there is a pilot behind that deck that has been practicing the hell out of it and has been dedicated to that cause of getting to getting that far at that event. They have been dedicated to that, guys. They have been dedicated to it. And anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. You have to just work hard at it in order to accomplish it. Long story short, guys, work hard, study, and just keep at it. You know, have that persistence and you will accomplish your dreams. If you work hard enough at something, you will accomplish it. I mean, it's just that simple, guys. It's just that simple. Years ago, I mean, did I think that I would be, you know, at 50,000 subscribers? Hell no. I was happy when I passed 500 subscribers, okay? I was like, Jesus, I have 500 people that watch me. I didn't expect 10. And that was, I mean, it just builds from there. It, the same thing happens when you're when you're building a deck and wanting to, and, get, and getting good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Just like, you know, you practice and get better at making videos as a Yu-Gi-Tuber, you practice and get better at Yu-Gi-Oh! Get practice and get better at the game, and that is what makes you a good Yu-Gi-Oh! player. It's the, it's the same thing. And some of you guys might be like, well, you know what? You talk me into it. You, you are right. I can top a YCS. Where do I start? Well, you can start by looking at the top 32 results from this most recent YCS and understanding and comparing those results to the results of the past couple of months and understanding that right now the metagame is very, very diverse. It's actually very, very more diverse. I've said this in videos uh, recently in the past, guys. I mean, I, this, this current format is more diverse than we were a year ago because a year ago we were in tier zero Pepe format. Not Pepe format, sorry. The year before that we were in tier zero Pepe format. But last year we were in tier zero zoo format. Either way. And actually Pepe format. And insert your format for an example here. Um, the, the, the point is we're, we don't have like this one deck that's just, just way better than everything else. No, no, no. I mean we have True Draco and Magicians right now that are, you know, a little bit better than everything else. But everything else is just as viable. So my point here is if you want to top a YCS, study everything that is relevant right now, practice all of those decks, and get good with all of them. Study. The information is just out there everywhere. All you have to do is put the work into it. So in other words, guys, if you want to top a YCS right now, if you want to, or if you just want to do better in Yu-Gi-Oh! in general right now, um, what you have to understand is that the format hasn't changed that much in the past couple of months. And because it hasn't changed that much in the past couple of months, you have a huge amount of data that you can use from the past couple of months in order to get better and you know progress your progress your own deck and stuff and your own abilities because it's not like we just had this huge format shift like a baneless drop or, drop or something like that to where no one knows what to play everyone right now knows what to play and um, everyone knows that you can play just about anything if you make the right card choices and stuff it is a very very good format not only to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh guys but to be going to YCS's and stuff and I have to give a huge huge congrats to Team Sam because that is a big accomplishment to go, you know, I mean, to do well at YCSs, guys. That is huge. That's a lot of work. People underestimate not only, you know, how much work it takes to put in, you know, into YouTube, but people underestimate how much work it takes into doing well at Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is a very complicated game, guys. And because Yu-Gi-Oh! is complicated, you can't just look at the top 32 results from YCSs and stuff, though. You, in other words, you can't just be like, okay, so this beat everything at this event, and something similar beats everyone at this event, so therefore I should play this deck card for card almost right it's it's not that simple you also have to practice you can't just you know knowledge isn't everything you actually have to practice and develop good dueling habits as well because i cannot tell you how many times that having pa habits from the past and stuff have screwed me in duels today you have to practice a lot good dueling habits and taking notes on your good dueling habits in other words if a certain thing wins you a game that you've never done before taking those kind of notes and memorizing those notes in other words just getting experience pairing that with your your knowledge of the game and, uh, and gaining knowledge of the metagame will make you a better player. That is the key to being good at Yu-Gi-Oh! and topping in events like YCS Memphis, guys, especially in a format that is just so hodgepodge like current format, like the current metagame. You have to be really good at Yu-Gi-Oh! You have to be a better player than I am, a way better player than I am to be able to, to, to do well this format because this format is a format unlike a lot of other Yu-Gi-Oh! formats because it does take a lot of 
skill to do well this format, guys. I am not gonna lie, okay? There are uh, plenty of games back in the day, you know, I compare, you know, a lot of formats to Monarch format and stuff when the time comes, and I and I look back at my time playing a lot of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! during Monarch formats. I look back on that with a lot of fondness, but um, looking back, there were a lot of games that I just stole because I was playing Domain Monarchs. Was that skillful? No, I got free wins because of the deck, of the deck that I was playing, but our card pool and, and our metagame right now is so diverse and so big that it doesn't matter like it doesn't you can you don't get as much many free wins anymore just because of the deck that you're playing it, it's not like that as much which is really really great so it goes into I mean that just pairs into what I was saying earlier like you can play any deck you can play any deck that you want to right now as long as you make the right card choices and this isn't something that I've just said in this video this is something I've been saying for months now guys months now I mean my job part of my job as a Yugi tuber guys is to get you to understand that this game isn't as hard as it seems it's really not it is a very complicated game but it's only complicated if you're new to the game if you're new to the game I, I mean I completely understand everything all the rulings all everything uh, memorizing all you know all, all of our card pool and just it, it, it would be a disaster trying to learn everything so I get it if you're a new player okay it'd be overwhelming to try to do well at a YCS or something like that because you just brain overload but Understanding if you have like if you've been playing the game for a few years and have a, a good understanding and good basic game knowledge and stuff It wouldn't take much more practice I mean a, a month a couple months Maybe a, a practice to make yourself into a very good player a way better player than you currently are And it's my job as a Yugi tuber to say those kind of things like I just said right there because if I can't give you Specific examples card choices or whatever sometimes we do give you know us Yugi tubers do give you spicy text and stuff like that to play in your decks I know I have in the past and stuff plenty of times but sometimes the best the best advice I can give you is not telling you blatantly what to play or what card choices to make it's just telling you that this game is only as complicated as you make it that's that's I don't know how else to explain that guys um, if, if you if you treat this game as like oh my gosh it's, it's too much to memorize and stuff like that and, and, the, and, the, and the meta is way too strong you know I could never do well you know playing my deck or something like that if you look at it that way yeah you will never top a YCS ever but if you look at it from a more simple perspective and go man those guys put a lot of work and a lot of practice and if I did the same then I would be just as good if you look at it from that way you can see that Yu-Gi-Oh it's not as hard as it seems. It's really not. But uh, I am really hungry, though, so I am going to go make that sandwich. But until next time, guys, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. All right, this next one is from Brandon Deacon. Oh, this guy's written before. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, this one is coming right open, too. I don't have to, like, do a cut there. Yes. No work. No work, guys. No work. All right. So that is everything out of that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So that is the uh, return envelope. Let's put that over there, and uh, let's see what my instructions are with this one. All right. So, dear Yugi No No, just going to keep this one short and to the point. Enclosed, I have included a couple of gifts for you. Uh, with the parallel secret rare card, be sure to take out of sleeve and turn over. Um, okay. So parallel with the parallel secret card, be sure to take out of the sleeve and turn over. Okay. Um, hope you uh, enjoy everything I sent you. Also, the others I would. Love Love if you could sign and send back to me absolutely as two of them are gifts for a friend of mine and the others are mine uh, keep up these so you guys are like just sending like bulk letters to me now I'm just like signing like in bulk that works that works out <laughs> All right. and then uh, uh, keep up the amazing videos and looking forward to uh, what you have in store for, uh, in store for the future uh, from Brandon Deacon PS sorry for the mini heart attack the last time I sent in stuff with the Bandai swords revealing light yes dude that <laughs> screwed me up for a second because like for a split second I had oh my gosh like I, I really thought it was real and I was like <laughs> no 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 you did not send me a three thousand dollar card you did not do that and, and sure enough you didn't so it was okay but like I was genuinely like really freaked out for a second um, I will um, actually follow through with your request and have to, and, uh, and have enough to uh, make a play set for you thank you so much that is so sick uh, because once again like the, those Bandai Swords of Revealing Lights came out uh, they're, they, they're the rarest Bandai cards and um, you know there's some of the rarest Bandai cards there's three rare Bandai cards. It's the Gate Guardian, the Swords of Revealing Light, and the Mirror Force. And they came out in a lottery in Japan in 1998. So they are thousands of dollars, and they're really cool. <laughs> but uh, also, was not sure what you wanted as your return address on the envelope for the cards uh, coming back to me uh, that I would like to have signed, so I left that blank. Um, so, uh, wait, wait, wait. Also, was not sure 
what you wanted as your return address. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have no, no, my return address, my return address. Okay. I was like, what, what? I, I, just the P.O. box, the P.O. box, the P.O. box, dude. Like, the P.O. box is the, is the return, but um, I, that's fine. You don't have to write it. Um, I actually have, uh, they're not around. No, no they are. Um, these things, I actually have these things that Advance sent me to where I don't even have to write my address. I just like stick it on you guys' um, you know, envelopes coming back and you guys get your stuff back. But, um, so sign these, oh, absolutely. So let's see what I have to sign. So sign Herald of Perfection, absolutely. A play set of Herald of Perfection. All right, and then what, what else am I signing? Um, what, what do we got? <laughs> hey, um, Cyber Dragon, a couple of Cyber Dragons and a Cyber Dragon Core. Dude, absolutely. That's freaking sweet. I'll absolutely sign all these. And then what, what do we have in the, what do we have in the keep? Oh, uh, what? I, did, I didn't get them all, but hey, Sinister Serpent, Mystical Space Typhoon, and then um, Elemental Hero Blaze Man. Thank you so much. And then Left Leg of the Forbidden One. Dude, crazy. Here, let me try to get this out of here. This is kind of like, what, what is, what is, oh, it's so, I see what's going on. This is like taped. That is so sick, but this like isn't open though. It's the, oh wow. It's the art promotion. Left leg of the forbidden one. I actually don't have these guys. I actually, that's the, my first one. That's crazy. Yeah, I barely get time to get a locals. I wish I went more, <laughs> but dude, thank you <laughs> so much. Oh my gosh, you made me do field centers. Thank you so much, dude. It's like me and my dad. <laughs> It's crazy, but he said to flip. Uh, he said the parallel one uh, to flip over, right? Uh, the parallel, but he said, uh, yeah, the parallel ones to flip over. So let's flip, flip these over. The monster. No, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's what? What? Oh, they're opposites. What? What is this? Like, is that what you're trying to show me? That like you know that they're that they're flipped like they're backwards or? I'm not sure what you're trying to show me. The parallel card. What what card were you trying to show me? Oh, this is what you're trying to show me. <laughs> I was like, what are you trying to show? What were you trying to show me? This is freaking sweet. It's beads. Okay, I get it now, dude. Thank you so much. That's freaking sick, dude. Um, in, uh, like seriously, you make me some really really cool stuff. Like you inspect your collectibles, man. You guys make me some really really sick stuff. And like all of you guys, like all of you guys, between everybody, I can just get like the coolest stuff in, in the mail. It's nuts. And like this room is just always. I mean, there's a reason why it's always a mess and. A constant uh, state of reorganizations because I get so much cool stuff from you guys and I don't know what to do with it, with it all. Not that I'm complaining, but you guys, like, it's just amazing. It's just, that's why I'm trying to get out here is that it's freaking, it's insane what you guys sent me and I'm very, very appreciative and you guys are freaking amazing. Uh, Brandon, uh, thank you so, so, so much uh, for sending all this. Um, I'll be sure to sign these and get them right back your way. Thank you so much again. This one is from, I can't really, I can't really tell. <laughs> I don't know who that would, uh, who that's from, but uh, let's, let's open it up and see and see if they say in the letter or something like that. Dear Yugi Noto, hopefully this will get you, uh, get to you. Uh, despite my terrible handwriting, I've been a fan for a while and played Yu-Gi-Oh on and off since a dueling Duelist Kingdom. Uh, today I got some uh, new cards, including my uh, my first X's and Pendulums. Um, yeah, I'm that for uh, I am that far behind in collecting my um, my um, decks. Still favor um, synchros. Um, is my decks still favor my uh, my decks still favor synchron or something like that anyway since they are my first i wanted to i want wanted you to sign them keep up the good work sincerely t-i-t or whatever whatever that says what, what, what we got a, a dynamis spidos Symphonic Warrior Guitar, which is really, good, really good. That's a that's a really good card. I get you to another normal summon with mics. Um, Lunar Light Tiger, Lunar Light Wolf, and then a Raid Raptor Rise Falcon. Dude, I will absolutely sign these and get them right back your way. Uh, thank you so so much for writing. Subscribe.